Hi guys, Mary here. Welcome to my channel. So as you probably already know, I love to paint furniture. I'm really excited today to try a new kind of paint. I've never tried it before. Um, it is called Old Century Colors. It's a milk paint, and just from the feel of it, it feels the, like the weight of chalk paint. This paint is actually made locally here, about 45 minutes from here, and I never painted with any milk paint before, but I'm told it's kind of like chalk paint. So I'm going to give it a shot on these two little nightstands that my husband brought home. Um, he delivers furniture. And then he'll come across pieces that are maybe damaged or that people don't want anymore. And he got these for a really good price. I think he even used his tip money, bless his heart. So I will be painting them. I do not like the color of this stained oak. Um, I know some people would say, oh, don't paint that. But you guys know me, I will paint anything I don't like and it usually fixes the problem. paint is Moravian white and I will be using my bristle brush to apply it. So here's what it looks like after one coat of paint. Now keep in mind that I did not prep the surface one bit. I didn't sand or anything. So I'm really putting this paint to the test here. And I thought it went on very nicely. I am thinking with one more coat it should be good to go. So here are the stands after two coats of the milk paint. I am really impressed with this paint so far. I can tell that it's on there to stay. And I will be taking the stands outside and sanding them with my electric sander and then applying this dry wax as a top coat.
how these end tables turned out. I like how they look with our sofa here, and they are definitely an upgrade uh, from what I had been using as end tables. And I cannot say enough about the milk paint that I used. Uh, first of all, I am not getting paid by any means uh, to say this or to promote this paint. Um, I just picked it up at the local hardware, and I like to try new things, so I got it, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. And I am actually kind of blown away. It seems to be really, really durable. Uh, in fact, this morning I actually took a little hammer, and I tried to chip away on the one side uh, that you don't really see, and I could not get any of the paint off. I used my fingernail. I scratched as hard as I could, and it would not come off. So I'm convinced it is on there to stay, thankfully. And again, I should mention, you know, I did not prep the surface uh, before painting one little bit. Um, it had been pre-finished with a kind of glossy finish, and it just seemed to stick really well to that. So if you're interested in purchasing any of the paint or just knowing more about it, I will link the old Century Colors website below. Uh, there you will be able to see, you know, what colors they have and what other products, and you will also be able to order off of there. I also wanted to mention the little lamps uh, that are on each table I got at Walmart and Amazon also has them so I will link them below in case you're interested in purchasing one. And the decal on the jar here, the Home Sweet Home decal will be available on my Etsy shop. I will also link that below. So on a side note, the curtains you see in the background behind the end tables I get so many questions about. Um, I made them years ago. I just used uh, sheer panels that I got at Dollar General at the time, and I sewed some tan fabric strips um, you know, onto the panels to get this look. Um, they are actually going to be available on my Etsy shop, so if you're interested in purchasing any of them, um, I will link that below for you guys. And I thank you so much for watching uh, this video. I hope you are maybe inspired to try some of this milk paint. Uh, you will not be disappointed. So I hope you all have a great day, and until next time, bye!